Hi, Dr. P here for Essential Oil University, and I just wanted to do a short video uh, to explain to those of you at home who don't have a GC like I do, how you might be able to tell if a, a blue oil, uh, a, cam a chamomile, or a blue tansy, or any oil such as th those that contain significant amounts of camagiline, how you can tell at home if they might possibly be adulterated with a non-volatile carrier oil. Um, now, let me just give a disclaimer. If your oil passes this test, it does not mean that it's not adulterated. This is just a test that you can do that will be a positive test for carrier oil adulteration only. Okay? So, just very simply, put the oil in a clear bottle and then shake, just shake the bottle up and see what it does on the edges of the glass, okay? The true blue tansy or blue chamomile oil, when you shake it, turns the entire bottle blue, just like that, okay? Let me do it again. See? And it takes a little while for that to clear up. That blue color will stay on the sides of the glass for quite a while. And these, these are, this is an actual true sample of blue, tan, blue tansy. Uh, this is a sample a customer just sent me a couple days ago that is definitely cut with a carrier oil. Okay? And I, I, you don't even have to run it on the GC to know this. If you put the oil in a clear bottle like this, shake it up, and you can see it immediately clears up. There's no uh, residual sticking on the sides of the glass. Okay? The other thing you can do is what I call the iPhone test. And basically, you just turn the LED flash, the light on your uh, iPhone on, and if you set a true blue chamomile or blue tansy oil on top of the light, you'll notice that the light, if you look right down on into the bottle, absolutely no light passes through up through the bottle. It's completely opaque. Okay, on the other hand, when you take an adulterated sample that's cut with a carrier, in a significant amount, it dilutes that camagiline down to where light will pass through it. And you see, if you put the sample on top, the light passes right up through the center and you can see the light down through. And I'll bring the camera down here so you can see it. From the top view, this is what you're going to be looking at. You see that light goes straight through the sample. Whereas the pure sample put that on and you can't see any light through that bottle. So anyway, these are just two very simple tests that you guys can do at home and uh, with the shortage of blue tansy uh, and the high expense of blue camwell nowadays uh, you're going to be seeing more and more of suppliers trying to get uh, thrifty with their oil and maybe be tempted to cut some corners. And I just wanted to give you guys at home a way to tell when this specific form of adulteration is occurring with this oil. Please do not take this as any test of purity. It's only a test of a specific type of adulteration. Hope this helps. Thanks.